All right, Coach. Uh, haven't talked to you a whole lot this year, but your girls are having a pretty good season yet again, a 10-3 and record. Just to start things off for us, can you kind of just uh, talk about the season as a whole, what you've liked, what you haven't liked, things like that? Yes, of course. So we, we've been fortunate enough to even have a season, you know, uh, 10 teams playing right now out of 30 in our division. So uh, we're just happy that we were able to find competition. Obviously, we've been going both semesters. A lot of teams didn't start up until the spring. Um, the nice part about this season is, you know, a lot of the teams that are playing are those teams in the top 10 in the conference, regardless of whether it's a COVID year or regular regular year. So every game we've played has been against a top 10 top 10 opponent. Uh, stronger competition. We haven't had a game where it's been a blowout. You know, um, obviously we've played. Um, bought no once, but you know that's kind of been hit and miss here. So going into every weekend that we're playing, you know we got to prepare like we're going to be playing another top ranked team. Um, all most of our games have been one goal games. You know we've struggled, I think, for the most part to score goals this season. Uh, you know that kind of happened in our Lindenwood series where you know just couldn't find couldn't catch a break and it kind of. Um, shot us in the foot but overall happy with our record you know um, we're we're on a good start we got a couple games left here um, before conference tournament and nationals and we're just doing what we can to prepare for a national championship so since like you mentioned over the last run of games they've been what two three goal games you've scored about four goals max what has gone into what would go into improving your output goal just I would say shooting opportunities you know I don't um, currently over the last couple of weeks we've been working on possession of the puck finding those soft spots um, you know really grinding to grinding to score goals you know um, we've struggled in front of the net you know we can put on 30 40 shots a game but we're not burying those rebounds like we should or have in the past and you know we're not executing off the wall and those those types of things I mean um, Firing shots at the net isn't going to do us any good unless, but so we're, we've been working on finding better scoring opportunities um, and moving the puck around. Well, it's just you know you move it so much and eventually you got to find a way to score goals. And we're hoping that over these last couple of weeks where we've had some time off to improve and be, prepare ourselves for our next series. So, who are a couple individual girls that have uh, either come into the program? Uh, as a new athlete and kind of uh, really showed their skills or maybe somebody, a returner, that has taken that next step this year? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, when you look at your top end players, I mean, you can always count on our captain, Sammy Jo Henry. I mean, she's second in team in points right now. Um, not off to the, the start that I know she probably hoped she would be at. Um, you know, obviously she's a leader on and off the ice. She works hard every time she's on the ice, and she's put a couple goals in the net. But you know, we really look to her for leadership and kind of like fire the team up. Uh, again, you we have Riley Ball, incoming freshman from Bismarck. She's leading our team right now in points. Uh, again, she's kind of been one of those players who can get in the dirty areas and score those those goals and um, you know up against the competition or you know grinding away and putting it in the back of the net but you know at the end of the day um, you know our decor has been solid our goaltending has been solid um, you know it's just you would hope that we could find a you know a goal score and I don't know if we'd have identified that as as someone yet um, one of our transfers Megan Norris uh, came in this year and has dealt with injuries most of the season uh, or she were reluctant to kind of have her back in the lineup now. She was second in the league last year in scoring, so uh, it'll be good to have her back in the lineup down this end of the stretch. So, for your team, when you take on a team like Lindenwood and you drop two one-goal games, what do you learn from that to move forward in the season? You know, I think the biggest thing is you know adversity. You know, we always tell our girls that we don't like losing at home and. Um, at the end of the day, they wanted it more. You know, um, obviously, preparation for games is huge, but um, you know, both games we put up 30 shots against their goalies, and it just seems like every time any team we've played this year, no matter who we're playing, their goalie has always come out hot. So you know, I think executing and um, you know, 
for the most part, we've always been a team who's been up and just held a lead. And there hasn't been many times where we've been down a goal or two and had to kind of claw our way back. So kind of finding that adversity and learning from it and figuring out how to score goals in crucial situations um, has definitely you know, pushed us to get better and prepare as we come up here towards the end of the season. You're on a little bit of an off period here, but not by choice, obviously. The second game of that Midland doubleheader canceled and a doubleheader with uh, Botano canceled after that. So uh, leading up to your next games here against McKendry in a couple weeks, what? how are you guys using this time to prepare? Yeah, you know, we've uh, we're, our, our focus has been definitely on um, – power play penalty kill you know we've always prided ourselves on our penalty kill I think we've only allowed a a couple goals this year Um, power play I think we're like two for like 27 you know so real low percentage and especially um, in physical games like we've had with every team this year there's been a lot of penalties a lot of special teams uh, opportunities and we know really focusing on that and capitalizing on those opportunities has kind of been our focus and again with that and just going back to working on different situations where we can put the goal put the puck in the net you know working off the wall working down low making sure that we set up different plays from our points and just we're trying to figure out how to score <laughs> talk a little bit about your defense in net Jordan Ivanka in particular and what she's shown this season yeah no of course I mean Jordan's always been you know the backstop for our program since she got here last year um you can always count on her you know had a, a shaky game here or there but most of the time you know you're gonna expect her to let in less than two two less goals you know so um at the end of the day um, whoever scores the most most goals wins a hockey game. It's just we can't rely on her every game to win a one nothing game. You know she's done her part. She's done her job. Um, freshman Haley Beaver's kind of done the same thing in the couple games that she's gotten in. But um, back on the back end, you know they're doing their response, playing their, doing their jobs, um, and it's just kind of on the front end to step up and you know help them out. So. Another game opponent coming in, McKendree University in your next game. Um, have you guys done some early work on you know what they're going to provide challenge-wise for these two matchups? Yeah, of course. I mean, they're, they're a physical team, uh, a very systematic team. Uh, they're a little shorter this year in terms of lineup. I know they lost a couple players to COVID, unfortunately, so they have a bit of a shorter lineup. You know, the biggest thing for us, and just like when we play most teams, is we're going to have to utilize our speed. And, you know, we can say that, um, but, you know, we actually have to execute that. You know, I think we're the faster team. Um, but all around, um, in terms of preparation, they have a they have a very strong goaltender. I'd say she's probably one of the best in the league. I mean, she's seeing 40, 50 shots a night and averaging just over a goal a game. You know, so again, I've been repetitive today, but go finding ways to score, finding ways to put the puck in the back of the net, you know, because it's really going to come down to we can put as many shots on her as we want, but if she's hot in net and uh, we're struggling to score, it's going to be a close game. Uh, if we can find those opportunities, um, put net pucks in in those dirty areas, you know, I think we'll be fine. It's just a matter of preparing and making sure that we do what we need to do to accomplish those goals. So, One final question. The, the teams that you've played near the top of this division at this point with Midland and Lindenwood, and they were all close games. So that really has to instill in you and your team that any puck, bounce puck goes your way, or bounce the puck goes your way, you got a chance to obviously finish at the top of the table this year. Yeah, of course. I think the nice part is that every team that's currently playing and in the top six is also in our conference. Uh, the nice part is that, you know, national tournament coming up here in April, um, it's going to be those same six, top six teams. Um, the way I'm pretty sure the formats is going to work is that, you know, we're going to ha- get a chance to see at least three of those teams before the se- before the semifinals even happen. So, you know, every, every team or every game is going to be a grind from here on out um, with McKendree going our conference tournament in St. Louis and then the uh, national tournament in... Uh, in Minot here in April. Uh, I think the biggest thing is we haven't had a chance to see Liberty yet. Uh, They put up some big numbers against Adrian this past weekend. Uh, Our hope is that we can uh, 
Our hope is that we can see them in the conference tournament at least so that we're prepared to play them at nationals. So. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.